here with Alan Folds. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Mystic Runners, and Ace is actually going to make her way over here yeah, uh, and join us on, on this here. Um, but, you know, you always see people out. There's always people running. Um, so what is it um, about Mystic Runners? What's the, what's the purpose of Mystic Runners? Well, obviously, we're a group of people that like to run, and we like to uh, keep healthy, and being part of a group makes that easier. It keeps people honest, and also you get a lot of encouragement from the other, from the other members. And as an organization, we also like to give back to the town as well. Sure. Well, um, so where, where are you all located? Um, where do the members come from? Is it? Well, we're sort of centered right here in Reading, the Reading-Wakefield area. The most of our runners come from Reading, with Wakefield uh, a close second. But you'll find them anywhere, Peabody, uh, Woburn, uh, Wilmington, North Reading, any of the surrounding towns, Saugus. We have some from up in Lowell. We have a small contingent up in southern New Hampshire now, the Wyndham, uh, Londonderry, Salem area. And we've got a growing group down in Florida. And we actually have one member from Germany. He found us online and signed up. We've never even met him. So I guess we're an international group now. <laughs> I guess so. So where does the running take place? Where do people get together and run? Well, we run, um, uh, every week we run a race around Lake Quantipowit. It's a perfect 5K loop, and um, in addition to that, we uh, send off a group to relays in, around town, around the various towns, um, and... Uh, uh, yeah, our, our weekly, we do have a weekly race at Lake Corner Power. It starts and ends at the, the Clarion Wakefield, formerly the, the Lord Wakefield. It's a timed race. Every Wednesday night come... Uh, Hurricanes, uh, blizzards, heat waves, whatever, we're there every Wednesday night. We charge $2. It's open to everyone, by the way, not just club members. We charge $2 to cover the cost of water and um, sure. snacks and whatever. And uh, you don't need to pre-register. You register right at the time. So it's a great way to, to get into the sport if you're new at it. Sure. And so that's the recurring event locally here. But what about, and what about annual events? Well, we have an annual event called the Swimsuit Classic. And as you can tell by the name, it takes place right in the middle of the summer. Uh, in addition to that, we around Boston Marathon time, we have a lot of events. Uh, we usually have a, uh, several of our members are running in that famous race. So this year we had a, a movie night with a, a, an appropriately themed Boston Marathon movie right here at, right here at RCTV. Uh, we also had a, a send-off for our runners the Wednesday before the race. We had 15 runners, as I said. And on, the, on Patriot's Day itself, we usually hire a... a a hotel room somewhere in the Copley Square area to act as our hospitality suite. Gives our runners and their friends and their family and run, uh, members of the running club a place to hang out and rest after running 26 miles. Sure, they're going to need yards. the rest. Yes. Now, Ace, what, what kind of runners make up the, the, the club? Fast runners, uh, slow runners, elite runners, everywhere in between? All of the above. All of the above. We, on a weekly race, we can have someone finish in 18 minutes flat. And we have others who are coming in at 35 to 40 minutes. We have... Everything in between. <laughs> yeah. And we have families. We have couples who run together. We have um, parents and kids who run together. And just, it's, it's a great event. It's, it's all types. All types. We've got brand new runners who just have never laced up shoes before. We've got people that have been at this for a half a century and are still plugging away. We've got people that have won marathons. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, so uh, how, did, how does everyone keep in touch with each other within this club? We probably have one of the best uh, communication systems of any club you're going to find. We have a weekly e-newsletter. It shows up in your inbox every Sunday night. Uh, it includes stories about running, about our upcoming events. It includes uh, results from all of our runners throughout the week. Wherever they happen to run, we have the results in it. Uh, we have an active website that includes... Um, uh, videos and uh, slideshows. We have a very active Facebook page. And our Wednesday night race sort of acts as a, a weekly club as well, a cl weekly club meeting. Although I will point out the weekly race is open to anyone. Right. And how about the community inv involvement beyond just the running? Well, we um, give back to the community a lot. We have our first race of each month um, donates proceeds to a charity of the choice of members. Members pick their own. Um, in our annual event, we uh, donate to two big charities, um, uh, one in Wakefield, the Interfaith Food Pantry, and right here in Reading, Mission of Deeds. Great. And we also get involved with uh, 
the running community in general, too. I mentioned we had 15 runners at Boston. We had 21 volunteers. That included wow. bagpackers, water stop people. Uh, we ran the information booth, uh, people handing out medals at the end of the race. That's great. Now, how, you know, how can people get, get on board and, and start to get the newsletters and be a part of the club? Two easy ways. One is they can go right to our website, mysticrunners.com. You can sign right up. Or even better yet, come some Wednesday night. We're there 645 every single Wednesday. We've been doing that for 11 years without missing one single week. It's a way to try it out without even having to join.